Hi guys, it's Lynette. Um, I took, okay, I, <laughs> I logged on to check to see if there were any comments um, being left on my channel because I got an email saying that um, someone had left a comment but it wasn't uh, visible. So I logged on to check it out and found, I don't even know how many were put in the might be spam section. Um, that I wasn't even aware of before. So I'm very sorry if your comment hasn't been posted and I haven't answered it it's because I didn't see it. Um, I did go ahead and post them all and I thought instead of um, responding to them each, because the, it goes as far as like six months back, um, I just figured I would address as many as I could in the time that I have allotted on here. So I'm gonna kind of move fast through things. Um, just because there's a lot of info I want to get in this video. Uh, first and foremost, apologies for the last video. I'm not sure why um, it's not, uh, the volume isn't high. I suspect that the reason why the volume isn't high is because of the case that I have my iPad in. So I took it out of the case. I'm trying to talk a little louder without screaming. I hope this works. Um, I'm gonna move this forward a bit. Okay, um, now I'm going to have my phone next to me and hopefully I'll be able to read comments and ad address them. It's going to be a little wonky, so bear with me. Um, a lot of you had a question, had questions about the Joe Tippins protocol. I'm going to go over because I don't think it was, uh, you could hear it in the last video. Um, that I made about it, so I'm gonna go over it here again. Um, sorry if I look a little off, some of your comments really hit me. So, um, the, the, what I take is, is a dog dewormer. It's called Fenbendazole. Primarily, I started with this, but this is the same thing with, uh, it's almost the same thing. It has the same exact um, amount of fenbendazole, which is uh, 222 milligrams, um, but their active ingredients are different. Um, so this you're going to have to, if you have like, a, a, an, uh, if you get an adverse reaction to cornstarch, I believe this has cornstarch in it. So instead of this, you would want to take this. Um, and make sure, see I hate saying, okay, this is the protocol you need to take because it's different for everyone. Everyone's body is different and everyone's body is going to react differently to this. Um, Joe Tippin's protocol is you take it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We'll just say those days, okay? It's three days in a row. And then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you're off. I happened to not read it correctly, and I was, was, and still am doing mine one packet Monday, one packet Wednesday, one packet Friday. So Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday are my days off. Um, I did that all on my own, um, and it's working for me. Um, I may have to adjust it later, I'm not sure. Um, but, uh, it's three days on, four days off, and that's what I read. Um, I did not read three consecutive days. Um, so there's that. Um, I cannot tell you how to do this protocol because, again, I don't know your cancer. Um, I, I'm not a doctor. Um, I'm not a nurse. I'm just somebody who has pancreatic cancer that's now on my liver um, that has came across a protocol on the internet and decided to try it. Um, if you want the exact information about the protocol, please visit www.mycancer.rocks, R-O-C-K-S. I will post the link in the description bar as well. Um, I cannot, someone asked me if I could post the link to the group that I'm in on Facebook. I, I'm not going to risk being booted from that group. Um, 
you have to apply to join that group. They have questions for you um, that you'll need to, to respond to. Um, I know that you can join and your caretaker can join. Um, you just need to follow the rules that are set on the mycancer.rocks uh, blog. The blog is made as though it's one huge, just incredibly huge post. And they set that up that way so that people on mobile phones wouldn't have an issue accessing the information. They want to get this information to everybody. Um, so if you want to join the group, please visit that URL um, and follow the instructions on it. The link to join the group will be on the blog. Um, so find the link, follow the, the steps that are on the blog and, and join that way. Um, and I, I really do advise people look into joining that group because there's a lot of us that aren't doctors, that aren't nurses, that have cancer and are trying to save our own lives. And through this, through this process and through everyone sharing with everybody else, we get to learn different things that, you know, may be the, exactly what someone needs to, to get rid of the cancer. Um, you just, you just get a lot of, of, uh, it's a huge benefit. You get a lot of information and you could ask questions and everyone is really helpful. Um, and within the group, there are a lot of files of information that you can, you know, it's readily available for you. You don't have to ask a question and wait until you get an answer. You could go in and, and look at all the information that's shared there. Um, they are very very careful because there are people who are trying to get that particular group closed which is sad um and if that happens then i will be i will go out of my way um to create a whole community i'll get on a server and whatever needs to be done because this stuff is working um it's working for some people for some people it didn't um, but, you know, in that case, in, in some of those cases, you know, it, the cancer was too far gone or they didn't have the uh, fembendazole in their bodies long enough. Um, so uh, for the people that have left comments, um, you know, doubting the efficacy of this, I'm living proof. Um, chemo didn't work for me. My, my cancer metastasized to my liver. And I was on chemo, you know, again, I was on chemo prior to my surgery, two different types. I had radiation prior to my surgery, had the surgery, and 20 to 25 tumors showed up on my liver two months later. Um, now, uh, I... I wanted to also wait until I heard back from my oncologist because I did ask him specifically how many tumors are left. I had between 20 and 25 and there are nine left and they're shrinking. And he said that's if there are nine. And it continues to shrink without the chemotherapy. Um, okay, so I'm kind of jumping around and I'm sorry. Um, I'm doing my best here, so <laughs> just bear with me. This is fenbendazole. This is the dog dewormer. This is what's killing my cancer, okay? With this. Um, now, again, on, on the blog, um, on several things that he's posted, Joe's posted, he takes, um, he's, his, his suggestion of the way he took it from his experience was um, he took... A vitamin E, I believe he took two, okay, every day. Um, then he took Theracurmin. There's another bottle. I had it, but I tossed it. Um, I'm going to be ordering another one of the kind that he was using. This is the same thing. Um, and I get these on Amazon. Um, sorry, this is Theracurmin. You take two of these every day. Um, according this now, again, this is according to what Joe did. I'll tell you what I'm doing, which is different. Um, 
Super Thistlin, this I take for my liver. I have cancer on my liver. Fenbendazole in large amounts has been proven to have an effect on your liver. Now, the amount of Panicure, or the amount, I should say, of Fenbendazole in each packet is one gram, okay? That's 222 milligrams of Fenbendazole. It's not one, one gram, it's 222 milligrams of Fenbendazole. That amount was tested, and from what I read, it should have no effect on your liver, okay? Um, but if it does, there's this. And you know what? I forgot to bring the tea. Um, I'm going to go grab the box really quick. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> this is the tea that I drink. Um, I'm back to drinking at least one mug a day, mug in the morning. Sometimes I just uh, drink it instead of coffee. Sometimes I drink it before coffee. Um, this helps my liver enzymes stay in the normal range. Um, it's raw organic dandelion root tea. These two right here are my liver savers. Amazon, got them both on Amazon. You can get milk thistle locally. Um, the other supplement that I'm taking that wasn't on Joe's protocol is this, it's bosmeric. It's turmeric and boswellia, and it's really great. And I only take it maybe once or twice a week, okay? Now, for what I'm doing, um, I'm doing Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. When I take this, the same day, you can take them all together. I like to spread them out. I'll take one vitamin E. I'll do the two Theracurmin, one in the morning, one either in the afternoon or the evening. Okay. I take a milk thistle every day now, and I drink my dandelion root tea every day. Okay. And this um, I do like I said, twice a week. Um, I don't do these every day. Everybody else, I think, has been doing them every day, and I haven't. So I might have even had even better results if I would have just followed the protocol like it was listed, but my brain understood something else. So I just blame it on chemo. Um, another thing that I'm taking, and I know some of you are going to cringe um, because they're not... Um, organic. I don't, I don't know. This is non-GMO. Um, but it's a super complete multivitamin. Um, I don't know. This is what I'm taking. And you have to eat six of these a day to get the daily allowance, but... Um, I take that and then I take this B12. It's a three... 3,000 micrograms of B12. But this I'm going to change to a B complex. Um, I was talking to my oncologist and I asked him for advice on how I could increase my immune system and his suggestion was to take a B complex, not just B12. Um, okay, let's see, that's 13 minutes already. And unfortunately, I don't have enough subscribers to go live. I wanted to go live and, and answer questions. But when I get, hopefully, <laughs> when I get to the point where I get enough subscribers, I will most definitely be doing a live so you guys can ask me questions and we can interact real time. Um, I got a lot of uh, comments about not being able to hear me. Um, and again, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I'll, it's going to be trial and error. I do have a microphone on order. So um, when that comes in, I got to teach myself how to use it correctly. And then, then I'll be using that. I may actually even just start filming from either my iMac or my PC. I have both because I'm a computer weenie. Um, there was a lot of comments about diet um, and suggesting that I do keto. Um, keto is... A really good diet um, but I can't do it um, I know in one of my 
videos, I told you all that I take digestive enzymes. Um, my pancreas is, uh, part of it's gone. Part of it was removed during the surgery. Um, I don't, they also removed my gallbladder. I don't process food the same way everyone else does. I have to take a pill to absorb nutrients, the nutrients in my food. Um, I have to take three of these with every single meal. Um, if I don't, okay, and, and if you're a little squeamish about hearing um, issues, you know, bowel issues or anything like that, please fast forward. I'm going to try to be as delicate as I can with this, but you know, it is, is it, it is what it is. Um, if I don't take those pills, and if I, um, if I don't take those pills, I won't absorb the nutrients in food. I won't absorb any fat. I won't be able to um, gain weight. I'll just continue to lose, to lose and lose and lose. Keto is high fat. Now, when you have a pancreatic issue and part of your pancreas has been removed because, you know, you had cancer on it, um, you don't process fat like everybody else. Um, what happens is, uh, if, if I were to try to eat the keto way, um, I would have bowel movements that were oil, that would just be oil. Um, and it's happened before. It was before I had my Creon. Um, and I've, you know, I've tried eating high fat with vegetables. I tried like a, a modified keto and my body was just not having it. Um, keto is a great diet, but it's not a one size fits all. Um, if you can, that's awesome. Um, unfortunately I can't. Um, okay. Uh, there was a comment that I wanted to address. Um, somebody said something about, um, Joe not saying in one of his videos that he also had chemotherapy. Um, on the blog, which is where all of his information is, it states he was on chemo. It states he had radiation. Um, but, you know, he wasn't getting the results that he, you know, he obviously overcame cancer. He wasn't getting those results until he started taking the panic here. So um, I can understand having an issue with him not mentioning on one specific video. Might have been more than one. Um, he didn't mention chemo because chemo was a part of his therapy. But it, in my opinion, from what I've read, um, it didn't cure his cancer. And it hasn't, you know, kept the cancer away. That, that has been panic here. Um, so let's see what else. Um, I'm trying not to read the, um, the prayers and all of that, that you guys have offered to me because I want to get as much information out to you. Um, before addressing those, uh, let's see. There is a lot, a lot of information left here. Um, you guys are just, you guys are awesome. Um, dosages of all the supplements. I hope, um, strategic services, I hope I was able to answer that with um, showing you my protocol and what I'm taking. Oh, um, somebody had a question about CBD oil. Um, yes, Joe used CBD oil. Yes, I do sometimes, not all the time. Um, I was taking RSO, but I've since run out. Um, and unfortunately, um, the person that I was getting the RSO through has passed away. Um, so I'm currently looking for another provider for the Rick Simpson oil, but I am without it right now. Um, what I did do though, is I went and I bought, 
a bottle of CBD oil since I'm out of RSO and I do want to keep the cannabinoids in my system. Um, I bought the CBD oil. I'll show those to you. I believe I've showed you this same bottle in the past. It's the Care by Des I went shopping today. I needed to get some more edibles so that I could sleep or from when I'm nauseous. Um, this is the one that I use. It's Care by Design. It's a one-to-one, -one, so it's equal parts CBD and THC. Um, THC, from what I've read, you know, that a lot of people um, kind of argue back and forth if it's the THC or the CBD that's actually killing cancer. Um, I don't know. I read it was a THC. Um, who knows? Until they do, you know, clinical trials on it. I don't think anybody's going to know. Um, my tolerance now, because of the RSO, you guys, RSO is, that's some strong stuff. Um, because of the RSO, my tolerance is way high. Um, so I have to do two full droppers full of this. Um, I, it may even be more. I don't, I don't know. Um, I, cause I haven't tried that because I've been on the RSO. Um, I know some people were asking where I was getting my RSO. It was from a woman who was local to me and, um, unfortunately she passed away. She was a, an incredible, incredible woman and she's greatly missed. Um, and, uh, I'm, again, I'm looking into um, a new supplier of RSO. When I find out, I will let you guys know. Although, if you join the Joe Tippins group, um, there are people there who will give you suggestions. The reason why I haven't gone to the group for suggestions is I'm, I live in California. It's legal here. So I should be able to find somebody who makes the RSO. And in, in, you know, in actuality, there is a place in Southern California, but that's like five or six hours from me, depending on how I'm driving. <laughs> um, and my son lives down there. My oldest son lives down south now. So um, maybe one of these times I go down to visit him, I'll be able to, to tool around LA and see if I could find it somewhere. But I will keep you guys updated on that. Um, uh, uh, Vera asked, where do I find the fish bendazol? Um, I don't take the fish bend, um, but a lot of people in the group do. Um, so it'd be best to join the group and ask them. Um, I'll try to make some notes and, and remember to ask questions in the group. Um, I'll try, okay? Um, how long I've, I've been on the panicure. Um, I started, uh, two, I had chemotherapy two weeks and then the third week I started, um, the panicure and that was in June. So the first Monday or the third Monday in June is when I started, uh, uh, Lucky Charm, you asked how they take the fish bendazole. I believe they take it the same way. I'm not sure on dosages, just like with the Fenben. Uh, it depends on the person, depends on your cancer, um, depends on how you know your your body reacts to it. Um, so doses, I I can't give you. I could tell you what I'm doing, um, but that's about it. Um, definitely check out the the group. Um, Brigitte or Bridget, thank you so much. Um, yeah, it was incredible news. Um, okay, Hector Rocca, 300. Um, I believe there are people in the group who are suffering from lymphoma that are taking the Vembendazole. Um, I, I haven't like I haven't paid too much attention to specifically the specific types of cancer and the doses um, and 
which, you know, wit, if it's fish bin or fen bin, I haven't really done that because I've been working on my own. Um, but I know that there are people with lymphoma that are taking it, people with um, Hodgkin's and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma that are taking it, um, and seeing, see, some are seeing great results, some are seeing slow results. Um, uh, glioblastoma, breast cancer, bone cancer, leukemia. I believe there's a leukemia. I think, I think it's a brand new person, um, to try it. I think, um, yeah, please, please definitely join the group. Um, read the blog. Um, they could, everyone is, they're so incredible. They're incredible people. Um, and can help, you know, uh, you can get more help from a, a large sum of people rather than one person who, I don't want to say I don't know much because I have researched for myself. Um, but I don't want to give you information and have it be wrong. So, um, yeah, again, you know, disclaimer, not a doctor, can't tell you what to do, can only tell you what I'm doing. Um, okay, that was that one video. Let me see the next one. Sorry. Um, okay, 26 minutes. Ooh, this is killing me. Um, okay. Okay, now, uh, there was a message from someone who is asking about the cancer die-off. Um, and because I, I'm looking at myself as get, getting close to the end of my ordeal, my ordeal, um, I'm, my train of thought is I'm at a place where I probably need to do some kind of cleaning, purging of my system, um, specifically my lymphatic system, um, to get rid of the, the dead cancer cells. Um, I'm looking into that. One way I know is a great way to clear your lymphatic system is to get on a rebounder. You know, those, you guys remember, uh, what was that movie called with Kathy Bates and it, oh, uh, uh, fried green tomatoes. Um, that movie, Kathy Bates gets on a rebounder and she's like bouncing or whatever. That motion, that action is great to help clear your lymphatic system, I read. Um, and it was from people who have done it to help clear their lymphatic system. There's also a supplement, and I believe a liquid, that you take and it helps your body um, remove the waste. It, you will, you know, go to the bathroom, remove the waste. Um, oh, a lot of you asked if I told my oncologist. Um, when I started taking it, no, because I didn't want him to say, oh, well, if you take it, I'm not going to be your doctor because there are a lot of doctors that are doing that. Um, so I waited until the results of my CT scan three, over three months after I started taking the Fenben. And once I got the excellent results, I mean, my oncologist, I've often referred to him as Dr. Doom or Dr. Death. Um... <laughs> because he's just not, he's not very, he wasn't, I should say, he wasn't very, you know, uh, positive, I guess. Um, he saw the results and he was looking on the screen, you know, at my liver before and my liver after. And he's like, wow, you are really responding to chemotherapy. <laughs> and at that point I thought, it would be horrible of me to let the man think that it was just the chemotherapy that was fixing me. Um, so I told him about it. And when I told him about it, I swear the man's brain stopped. Um, he repeated back to me, dewormer, with like this like, look on his face, like, are you kidding me? Um, but yes, I did tell him. And he was very positive. He told me, you know, he could not give me any advice. He couldn't doctor me about um, the panic here because he could be opening himself up for a lawsuit. Um, but he told me specifically, whatever you're doing, keep doing it because, because it's working. And he said, 
you know, he at that point rolled back to the screen and was looking at the both of them, you know, the both of the scans and said, you know, at this point, it's probably the dog dewormer that's killing your cancer and not the chemo. So my thought after that was, I'm going to go off chemo. Um, and I was frightened, um, really frightened. Uh, okay, this video is already 30 minutes. I'm hoping it'll let me post it. I'm going to post this one and I think I will come back with another because there are some more comments that I haven't been able to address yet. So I'm going to stop this video and then I'm going to start another one. Okay, see you soon.